Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Your vlogging, you comment about public issues you criticize government, you criticize President Naka in the HLMA. First of all, I need to acknowledge that's very brave of you for a woman, number one. And uh, just, uh, it's, it's a very difficult space. How do you deal with the first criticism of their so-called praise singers that come on? And have you ever been called to the police? Because some of your videos are very strong. No, luckily, I've never been called to the police. Um, mm -hmm. I, be, I wanted to be a, a counselor because I wanted to save my people. Mm -hmm. And I believe we can always do better. Mm -hmm. I don't believe anyone is perfect, mm -hmm. but I believe that we can all do better in certain instances and work together. Mm -hmm. I believe personal lives, we can make mistakes, it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. But when you're serving in institutions, you must be able to allow people to tell you when you're going wrong, mm -hmm. and you must look to be correctable, <laughs> if there's a mm -hmm. word like that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, as a blogger, I've been insulted mm. by praise singers. Mm. Beyond everybody part has been named. I've been called a prostitute. Mm. Um, they are very sure I'm one of the prostitutes who are benefiting from leaders like you. Mm. And today is the first time we've ever even had a conversation. Yes, um, yes. People just have a wrong perception in Zambia. About politics. About politics. Mm. And this is another reason I became strong. Remember, I wanted to be a counselor. They didn't pick me, but I remained very active in Chawama constituency. Mm. I, I sold our counselor to be who won. She became a counselor. Mm. I sold the MP. She won, and she became an MP. Mm. And I vowed to remain with them. So I serve Honorable Tasila Lungu Mansa under her, and somehow I believe I'm serving the community of Chawama. So mm. I've remained very faithful to that cause. Is politics your path? I believe it's my purpose in life. Mm. It's that one thing. Once I entered it, I just felt like, Nafka Pangan. Kokuns Wokuno. I felt like this is home. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I don't struggle. I'm afraid because the UPND, I've seen how brutal they have been to mm. some of the bloggers and all that. Mm. I'm afraid. Mm. But I can't stop because I was telling somebody else that our, you know, they were describing me. They said, I feel like my heart, I can't breathe. Mm. That's how I feel when I'm not mm. speaking about the ills. People will say, the first thing praise singers will always say is, you are not saying that about Lungo. Mm. I'm like, that's why you're not being correct in your thinking. Mm. You would not see me on, on the blog talking about my own party. Mm. There were structures where I channeled my grievances and ideas through. Yeah. But now that we're in opposition, I have the right now to speak publicly because mm. organizational etiquette does not allow you to speak against your own institution. Only mm. a fool will stand and insult their own family in public. Mm. In public, you defend your family. Mm. In privacy, you, 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 you guide each issues. other. You're like, no, you know, they are shan shan. You mm. know? So I knew what was wrong with the, the patch of difference. And I was giving my little two cents. But I was new. I was low. So, mm. you know, there was really little I could do. But I can, I can say it here that even within us, the, the, the ranks, I was socializing people at provincial level and even mm. the candidates. Mm. Everybody was saying this cadarism must be quelled. Mm. It mm. must come to end. This is something we must do as soon as we win. Mm. Well, in my heart, I used to say, I don't think we're going to win the presidential because my heart said it did, wouldn't. Did you anticipate that President Lungu may lose? I knew he would actually lose. Why, yeah. Why did you come to that conclusion? Yet you were supporting the party and the candidate and candidates. When I stood for council, I knew President Lungu was going. When I, I mean, I was trying to be adopted as a PF councillor. I knew President Lungu was going to lose. I, I've, after what I've gone through, Ambassador, 
mm. after the sufferings of depression and everything, I've come to one realization that I can only trust my instinct, mm. my conviction. Mm. It's the only thing I can depend on. My head lies to me. My heart cheats me. But mm. my conviction remains true. Mm. And my conviction was like the patriotic front has a manifesto. And I loved the manifesto. Mm. I loved the philosophy, the pro poor governance. I loved that. Mm. And I looked at the PF, they were highly misrepresented by the UPND. Propaganda, mm. as a media pro professional, I saw had been maximized. Mm. Unfortunately, the PF had not tried anything to mitigate it. Mm. Um, so I knew this, this party is in the right place. And my heart said PF. Mm. Uh, UPND is a capitalist party. No matter mm. what people can say, they'll always put business before human beings. Mm. And I can't be a part of that. I love people and I believe not everybody is the same. Other people really need a lot of help. Mm. And so when the praise singers come to attack me, I just look at them and I laugh. But I'm, I'm toughened now because they've mm. insulted every body part. I've apparently <laughs> slept with so many people I don't even know. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm a slave queen, though I don't mm. even think I can qualify as a slave queen. Mm. So I've heard so much, but the love for Zambia, mm. a better Zambia. Genuinely, mm. my conviction tells me, yes, ECO will lose. This is the funny part. Mm. So 2021, mm. finally, the results have come out. Mm. PF has lost. Mm -hmm. They broke into one of our shops and they stole things worth over a hundred and something thousand quarter. Mm -hmm. And the people are known, we take them to the police and the police release them. And we've just lost like that. Mm -hmm. So now we have been trying to build our lives from zero, but they've still stolen from us like twice before again, mm -hmm. twice afterwards. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> President Lungu is now at the inauguration for President Haka in Chilema. Mm. and he has gone with Honorable Tassila Lung, a woman I really value. Mm. I don't think she's perfect, but I love the head on her shoulders, the mm. wisdom, the diplomacy, the love, genuine love for the people she serves. Mm. That's what endeared me to her. Mm. And that's why I'm always proud that when she says, Namakao, can you do this? I mm. show up. Mm. And she's helped me to understand community service even deeper. Mm. So I see her with her father walking, mm. and I hear the booing. In the stadium. In the stadium. Mm. And I'm Did home. you go with them or you were no, watching no, no. on TV? No, I was at home watching. Mm. No, actually not even home. I was at the shop watching. Mm. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping President Haga in HLM will say something. Mm. To say you can't do that to a statesman. Mm. And he says nothing. Mm. The camera zooms on him. And he actually looks like he's happy and enjoying it. Mm, that the audience has booed uh, the former president. I said, this man will not last. It's five years in my mm. spirit. Mm. And I said, <laughs> it was absurd. <laughs> Even I thought it was absurd. Mm. I thought it was a crazy thought. Mm. But that's what I thought at that moment when they were booing. But I was so amazed at their ability to stand straight, mm. to walk straight, to stand mm. tall, and not show any emotion of brokenness. Mm. They mm. blessed my spirit that day. I even missed my dad. I was like, dad, you see, fathers are good for daughters. Mm. You know, because her supporting her dad like that was just amazing. Mm. Mm. And, and Why do you me, criticize President Nagainde Ichilema? Number one, I never believed any of his promises. When you I knew they would not come through. When I saw the propaganda that he was using against the patriotic front, I felt like such a person should not be allowed to become a president of Zambia. I know politics is not church. Mm. I know we are not straight all the time as politicians, but mm. I am confident that his was too extreme. And my conviction said ECL. Mm. So um, he wins the election. ECL is good. Leadership, true leadership in my personal understanding. Mm. Even if you are happy they are booing him, mm. true leadership will make you say, uh-uh, country men and women, this is our former head of state. Yeah. We must respect him. Mm. True leadership. Mm. According to the lessons of, and I think I've done a bit of education up to a master's level, and ac according to Wutu, in laws you say Wutu, I think mm. it's called Ubuntu. Mm. Uh -huh. Wutu teaches that you know, to respect other people mm. is critical to a human life. You can't stay there quiet watching people booing a former head of state and you say nothing. It disqualifies you to be a leader, in my mm. opinion. The short videos you issued 
Um, which one has been the most popular? If you look at your statistics. I know you are mostly on TikTok. You are not on Facebook mostly. Yes. I hope to try. Um, I'm hoping to build up certain resources. I know what to do to make myself big on, on Facebook, but I think I know that I need resources. So I'm not mm. yet in that position. TikTok is easier. But mm. I must say, chair, that, yeah, the, the lady called chair, chair lady. The lady in the, yeah, from UK. From the UK. Mm, Queen uh, Cobra. Queen Cobra. Mm. I, I, I found Tali's attacking of ECO infuriating. Mm. One day I had had enough. Mm -hmm. And I told him off in a TikTok. I just went after him. I don't know who in the patriotic front picked it. And the next thing, Queen Cobra also picked it. And I, I have to say I owe my moving to that level mm -hmm. to her. Because, because she picked your video on TikTok and put it on her page. Yes. And mm. funny, even Shufia Tayali, who I don't agree with so many of how he behaves, he actually got that TikTok and put it on his page as well. Mm. And mm. he was like, I mm. want to have lunch with this young lady. Of mm. course, I'm not going to have lunch with a man who insults ECO left and right. You can't disrespect ECO. I'm not okay with that. Mm. Um, because he's a statesman. He mm. was our president. Mm. I feel we must respect our... He's, like, he's going to be one of the ancestors forever mentioned in this land. Mm. Like you mentioned, KK, Arabi, mm. everybody. They must be respected. This is our history. These are mm. our foundation. Patriotism starts there. Mm. Respect the people who will root over you. And entirely wasn't doing that. So I got mm. upset. And that's mm. how... Psh, that yeah, and, and mm. people could hear this Nam's mercy. Mm. I'm not critical of President Haka in HM because I hate him. I don't hate him. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know him as a person. Mm -hmm. I just know him as a leader. Mm -hmm. And on the side of leadership, I believe he should never have become a president. It's an accident in his life that he should never have been. I think God was showing him a sign mm -hmm. by not allowing him to be president. But mm -hmm. he forced murders and forced and, mm -hmm. and he did a lot to get this president. That's why things unraveled so fast. Yeah. Because yeah. you force something that God has not intended for you to have. And, and that's why I speak against him, because he's a capitalist to the core. Mm. Where there's money, he doesn't care. How do you sell maize that should feed Zambians? Mm. You sell everything. Are you good to know if you're going to have a bapa harvest? You're not mm. sure. Mm. How do you deny Zambians an opportunity to fight and survive? Mm. You sell everything. Despite everybody guiding you and telling you, you refuse. Mm. You mm. sell. Then you get GMO mm. to feed your people GMO. Mm. Have you tasted that mini meal? The, uh, we're not even allowed to eat GMO in this country. But have you tasted that no, popular, we, cheaper mm. mini meal? So mm. when it was very cheap, like around... The ZNS mini meal. Yes, when it was about 170. Mm. First said at 150. Yes, it's it would at come at the ground there in Chawama and people would queue up to buy it. Then it went at 175 very quickly. Mm. And so now the other mini meal was way high. It was like mm. now almost hitting towards 300. So even the restaurants were like, ah, we, to Allah Finwa. So they went and bought the resident the answer. They brought that million out. Just opening, I'm like... The Eagles brand. Mm. Mm. We tried to eat. I didn't even eat. I, I just ate the, the relish. And I told them, Unga, unga, mapika. Not muzini letela. Muzini uzat kulibensima. Don't bring me this type of inshema. It's bitterish. It's, people are eating it because of poverty. Mm. Mm. And I believe... God raised me for a time such as this mm. to be able to speak up against all odds. It mm. hurts us in so many ways people never understand, mm. but we do it for the love of our country and our people because we can be better. We mm. can. Mm. The young people are very absent from issues of political and civic activities that you are engaged in. They would rather be talking about celebrities, about music. They even know more Americans and British artists and the issues of our country. They are disengaged. How can we engage them? What, what, what would be your advice to young people to get engaged? Because it's a politics that changed this country. The policies that Hakainde Echilema is implementing is because young people gave him the vote, but now it's affecting them adversely. How can you get young people to be interested in issues of public and political affairs. Young people have been damned. I don't know how to say that word. Like, our focus mm. has been that we have been taught what is important 
is not what really is important. Mm. And, and I feel also they are running away from the pain and the hurt. Mm. They feel helpless. What can I really do about this politics? They feel like they are helpless. Mm. When I joined, when I came back to Zambia, maybe it was really hard for me politically because I didn't know how to start, where to start. Mm. Uh, and I think young people feel they are nobody. Mm. Who are they to enter into this politics? That's why they fear those who enter into politics because they feel them they wouldn't be able to enter it. Mm. So it's low self-esteem. Mm. Why are we having low self-esteem? We don't know how to love ourselves as Zambians. Mm. And maybe uh, David Kaunda played a role because he taught us to love everybody. Mm. That we almost forgot how to love each other. We basically forgot how to love each other as Zambians. We don't love each other as And Zambians. if I don't love you as a Zambian, there's no mm. way I can love myself. Mm. So I don't pay attention to the details because it's too much pain. So I mm. dumb myself with watching challenges, TikTok challenges, and that is getting involved in who is sleeping with who and why they're not sleeping with that. Mm. Things that don't really matter because mm. they, they can't face the truth inside mm. to say, I, I feel I'm hungry and the government is not doing a good job because they feel like maybe I don't have the right, who am I, mm. to speak about it. So we need to educate our young people this is your country. This is your birthright. Mm. You must fight for it. You must speak the change into it. You mm. are the change that Zambia should be. But at the same time, I think we need to educate all of us that we all need each other. Mm. The youth, we need the elderly. The elderly, mm. they need the youth. The mm. women need the men. The men need the women. We mm. must work as a team. And then there will be transformation in this country. The, you are an educated young lady and you couldn't find a job for many years. You are like many millions of Zambians who are educated, willing to work, but there are just no jobs. And it's heartbreaking. What is your view there? And what must be done? It's heartbreaking. Uh, even up to now, I know I could be doing something that could be giving me more money than I. I'm technically poor if it's not for the people who are taking care of me. Mm. Uh, and then I can't even pursue my business interests because they are... What should I call? There are limitations because they are not happy with what I'm doing. I can imagine other young people like me. It's heartbreaking. You feel, am I not good enough? Mm. Why can't I find something? But I think we need to move away from government jobs. Mm. We need to open more industries. Mm. One of my passions is to open a clothing industry mm. to start so that we have the entire chain, uh, mm. chain of production from, if possible, making the, turning the, farming the cotton, turning mm. it into material, then making outfits, mm. and then selling it. Because mm. now you have an opportunity to actually also export and get the much needed uh, foreign, um, foreign, man, foreign currencies. Mm. And that's how mm. you grow the, you impact the dollar quarter exchange rate, not what we are seeing, which is mm. superficial. Mm. So we need more industries in Zambia. We need support, genuine yeah. support. Not mm. CDF, they tell you to talk past 30,000. To do what? Mm. And it's a loan. In this tough economy, you're going nowhere. Mm. In fact, they have just made you poorer. Because now you need to pay money with money you don't have. Mm. And you become poorer. So we need genuine funding. We need genuine cooperatives. A cooperative mm. that comes together with a unit of purpose. Mm. And giving real money. Giving real money. Yeah. By the same time, we as Zambians, we need to start having integrity, accountability, mm. truthfulness, and honesty, because we steal a lot from each other. Mm. The person who uh, invited you to invest in their business after you, you left the bank and you gave them so much a chunk, have you been able to recover that money? No. My greatest pain of my life, mm. I've never been able to recover that money. Mm. And if, what were your lessons there? To advise other young people, because, you know, our young people are being scammed every day. There are these quick, quick cash, quick, rich schemes that are everywhere, and our people are being scammed every day. Personally, you experience it, because someone brought you this idea, but like you are saying, issues of integrity, issues of honesty are not there. They looked at you, presented that document, but that they knew they were defrauding you. You need to not use your heart. Mm. Use your head. Mm. You can't get an unsurmountable amount to give someone else to manage and hope they'll give you back the money. Mm. It doesn't work like that. Mm. Unless you are directly involved in the movement of those funds, do not invest. Mm. The money should remain in your hands. Number two, there are no quick and easy solutions in life. 
you don't become rich suddenly. There's a lot of suddenly life younger is a changer. Mm. Be willing to start small. I humbled myself with my yeah. degree and my master's. I said, I think I don't know anything about business. I sat there in the market every day for years, learning from the marketeers, understanding. Mm. Mm. I was at university mm. of hard knocks, yeah. understanding how real life operates. Humble yourself. Some people there don't even know how educated I am. You know, some of them don't even know I had a car I could drive. Because I don't present myself like that. But obviously you can see that I'm different. But I try to humble myself. Mm. Some people will come and think where I sell, I'm just a saleswoman lady. They don't know that I actually am part of their ownership. So mm. in life, humble yourself. Mm. Be willing to start small. Mm. Be willing to grow. Mm. God will bless you from where you are and lift you up. Mm. When I said this whole media thing, yes, I knew Honorable Tatsila Lungo, but I knew this was my personal project. Yeah. I know she loves me enough to say she didn't want people to think she was my project. She allows me autonomy, and she's always trying to protect me from mm. people thinking she's telling me what to do. Mm. So I started my, my journey uh, on the podcast by myself. Mm. I say what I say, I listen to it, I judge it. If mm. I hear it's politically too sensitive, I don't want the police to catch me. I delete it and I start afresh. I try the to The issue remain. of shrinking democratic space, yes. you are sensitive, you are aware about I'm it. I'm very aware of it. So mm. I try to be very respective. I try to be, uh, you know, I'm strong, but I'm not rude. Mm. But it will hurt them because they don't want to hear the truth. Mm. So young people, I said that way. And I didn't even know if they were going away. I did a lot of videos. Mm. Until that one day, Tayali won, and I just... But, mm. but I was faithful in the little I was doing. Mm. So young people, learn to be faithful in the little you're doing. I'm still not where I want to be. Mm. I, I remember once I was like, how do I get to talk to ambassador? Mm. But I, I was scared of coming after you in groupies. And mm. I will just act like, okay, but I wish I could talk to him. But mm. I said, God's time is the best. Mm. If I'm meant to be connected to the man, God mm. will connect me. Mm. So be willing to be patient. I have a very good friend in my life. Mm. And he's been very instrumental. And I met him in Chawama. Mm. And he's changed my life because he helps me to remind me. And Honorable Tassila will always say, Namakao, when I'm conflicted, I'm asking for advice. She tells me, why did you start it? Mm. It's the most profound thing for me yeah. because it keeps me rooted. Mm. And stay rooted. Believe that God will help you. Mm. Be willing to start small. Stay faithful. Mm. It's frustrating in life. Sometimes mm. you don't get the help you want to get. Everyone is saying, I'm a cow, you're being sponsored. Nams and Messi are being sponsored. They're mm. not sponsoring, not even at 50 you wish, you wish they could sponsor you. But if you are worth Takata, mm. you know, you stop. Mm. But because I know where I want to go, I stay steadfast. Mm. And I've seen the hand of God leading me. Yeah. So I've learned my part is to continue my conviction. Mm. And in his own time, Mm. Everything will grow. It'll Nothing is fast. Go about mm. Miracle. But that's what's out there with social media. No. You know, there are prosperous life people fronting cars they do not have, fronting homes they don't have, showing clothes they don't have. There's a glamorous life on social media. And, you know, you are a social media and netizens, like we call people on, you know, in, on internet, that you are literally children of the internet. Where do you strike the reality that, guys, this is not real? Reality must be like this. I think a lot of people love the utopia. Mm. It's like a drug. The internet is like a drug. Mm. It allows you to live in a dream mm. and to move away from reality. Like I said, reality for many of our people is very painful. Mm. Ambassador, what I've seen in Chawama, mm. I think that's how I've learned to be humble and grateful. Mm. Even when sometimes it's hard, I'll cry, I'll weep, but I remind myself I'm still in a better place. Mm. I see a single woman who moves with a small child. That child has basically grown up in buzz from the time she was born, and now maybe she's three, four years old. Mm. The child has seen the mother being done, everything. Mm. Mm. And this girl moves with this child, tries to survive how she can with her body. Mm. And I'm trying to educate her, and I don't think she hears anything I can say, because the mm. truth is... She doesn't really have a ways of surviving. Mm -hmm. So I've seen her pain. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that child who is growing up like that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, can I compare that child with my child? Mm -hmm. So I understand that there's a lot that needs to be done. That's why we mm -hmm. can't be capitalist in our mind. ECO mm -hmm. understood our people. That's why mm -hmm. he gave empowerment. And they were saying, no, 
Mm. His CEO has been in the compound. He knows our people to the core. Mm. What's happening in Chawama happens in every other compound in Lusaka. Mm. So he knew our people need help because others have never had a fighting chance. Mm. See that mm. child born and raised in the bus. Mm. What kind of a human being are you going to have? Mm. She needs help. Yeah. So I believe the pain in their hearts is what makes them carry themselves in the internet. Focus on who is sleeping with who, who is eating, who is money, who is mm. what, what's the latest outfit. Mm. Those things are nice, but live your own life. Mm. Be comfortable to live your own life. I too sometimes, my peers are almost directors. What? You know, mm. I have a lot of peers. Mm. And if I had stayed on the job, maybe I would have been somewhere. Mm. But I sometimes envy that. I miss it. Mm. But I always tell myself, I don't have to kill myself to have that. Yeah. Where am yeah. I right now? Mm. Let me pursue that life like that. Mm. If you're up, a parking a motor, go mm. with your feet. Mm. Walk to Chawama and back. You won't die like my friend who always said. Mm. Until I've learned how to do all those things. Mm. So young people, we have the capacity within ourselves to accept our circumstances mm. and to slowly grow ourselves. Mm. Never be lied to. We all can achieve that which we dream of. But mm. it has to be authentic. Yeah. I can't try to be ambassador, mom, but like, I can't. Mm. You're just too advanced to the way you're calm, you, in your interviewing. I don't have that. But I can be the best version of Namzi. Yeah, true. I can just be me with my sharp voice and my fast way of talking. I can be the mm. best at that mm. and not imitate you. I can learn the, 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 the tricks of the trade from you. Yeah. But yeah. I should remain Namzi. Mm. And... Um, I should just be patient. Shilakalipa sometimes. Patient shilakalipa. But I won't lie. Mm. You know, it's people do go. It call out to son a patience, but mm. pursue it. Mm. Just be calm. Stick to your lane. Mm. One day, have the faith that if I'm true to myself, one day, I talk <laughs> Thank you very much. Namakao, Messi, Silu Messi. We thought we could have a, a voice from young people get their perspective, see their relation to this country. And I'm glad that, Namakao, you are speaking politics, you are speaking public affairs, you are criticizing leaders. This is what we are lacking. And you, are, you, you have walked to the table. You want to be part of a leader. You just don't want to be a follower. You want to be part of a leader where decisions are being made. So I, I think we'd like to appreciate you for that. Any last few words before we close? <laughs> Ugani. Uh -huh. Yes. You are feeling it? Ah. When I heard the you know, I went for the press, I didn't know what was happening. I thought mm. they were just going to talk the usual. You went, I, you came to that press conference. Yes, and I heard ah. the people's ally, uh, the people's movement. Mm. It just went like yes, mm. you know? Mm. Um and then the next press statement they coined in Uga, mm. United Quacha Alliance, Zambians. This is what we needed. How is it on social media? You follow social media. Ah, we are running with it. Mm. Uka is here. Kwacha Zambia. <laughs> An opportunity for change. Thank you very much. Today we're hosting Namakao Messi. Silumesi. She's a vlogger. And as you've seen, she's a budding politician. She's very excited about our country. She says, why would anyone leave our country? It's better we fight it out here. Even when things are bad, even when we have bad leaders. So until we have another guest, good day, shalom, shalom, and God bless Zambia. God bless our country. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.